Welcome to the shop. Tonight we're going to go step by step on how to build a move bumper and we're going to be doing it on this 2020 Chevy 1500 Duramax. So let's get to it. Since I already have the truck pulled into the shop, the first thing I'm going to do is disconnect the battery and pull this grill out because I have to pull the grill to remove the bumper. So let's do that first. All right, well now we got arguably my least favorite part done, which is getting the bumper off. So now I'm going to open up the boxes on my table and inventory everything and see what we got. So now that I got a pile of parts here, which this is just the base bumper, I got another box with the grill guard in it. My only complaint with move bumpers is they don't send instructions anymore. They give you a QR code, which I get, it saves on paper, but I'm going to go ahead and pull this up and we're going to get these pieces laid out, hopefully in front of the truck, kind of where they need to go. So I'm going to put up a picture of the instructions on the screen and kind of show you what we need to do. And I think the first thing is we need to pull off the bumper brackets. So I'm going to do that real quick because the ones that they send looks about like they're gonna go there. So we'll get that handled. So after looking at the pictures, this bracket here, this is gonna face out. And this gives us room for later on, we can make some holes for holding this air dam. So we'll go ahead and take a few minutes and we're gonna get these brackets on here centered and bolted down because as you can see they're slotted so that gives some room for adjustment but we're building this one piece at a time so we'll make sure that these are completely centered and we'll start there it appears these brackets don't have the holes for the air dam i will have to drill those but we're going to do that separate i'm not going to do it this second to make extra sure everything looks good, I'm going to go ahead and replace the grill and put it back on. As we put the next pieces on, we'll be able to line things up much more effectively. If you saw at the end of the last clip, I put the hood latch back in because uh, I get the feeling if I didn't, I probably would have came back and bit me in the butt. Now I'm going to hold up this center move piece and we're gonna look and see how it looks let's talk about this for a second this piece here and the bounding brackets are probably the most important piece of the entire bumper because everything else is built off this so always 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 make sure that your bumper is centered with the grill and the rest of the truck check other areas too Kind of looking at this little notch and come over here that notch pretty much same spot and the other thing you really need to do is make sure that the height is okay now it's time for my favorite part we're going to bring out the welder and we're going to tack this section and if you already remember i've disconnected the battery which is one of the most important things i'll grab some sheets of aluminum to use as shields because we don't want sparks to hit any of the factory paint or grill or anything like that Now this here is kind of one of the trickier pieces to fit. Uh, with two people, it's pretty easy, but it's just me out here tonight. So let me get it held up there so you can see. Now this style of Chevy, this fancy little air vent and stuff, the bumper actually comes out past this. So we'll be really careful to not damage any of this paint. In fact, I probably should put tape up there, but we're not going to. Depending on how well you can see with the camera, we're really trying to line up. Ouch, that is so sharp. Really wanting to line up right here. And then well, the first thing we'll do is we'll tack this. Now we're gonna check visually, make sure it's all good, then tack below. 
and we'll move on from there. So I'll get everything set up and we'll do that. Now you see for this little angle piece, I tack the front, I tack this upper corner, and then I snake the clamp in up from behind to get up in there to flatten that out. As you see, I flattened it out up here. So I'm very carefully going to shield this and get a really good tack here and a really good tack here because that's going to help make sure that this end of the wing has stability and we'll move on to the end piece. I won't record that side for time's sake. You're going to do the same thing over here as you are there. So it's the next day and uh, I got this wing on. I'm waiting on, I'm waiting on installing this piece and I'm waiting on installing this piece as well. So now the next step, we're gonna open up the big box, which has the grill stuff in it. So now I've inventoried all the pieces here and what we're gonna do to make things easier, we're gonna build these uprights. If you look at the picture, they're square. We'll take the matching pairs, lay them out on the table, and weld them out ahead of time. This actually saves a huge amount of time because with finishing, it's a lot easier to move one piece around to grind it versus trying to do it when it's on the front of the truck. So these need to be two inches apart. So the very first thing I do is clamp it to a two inch piece of square tubing. Then we will take this two inch strap, starting at one end, and start working it down, tacking it. If you take your time with welding these, it'll be a lot quicker to clean up. Let me show you. So you can see these welds are not too built up or anything like that. Maybe these connections are just a little bit. This is how the professionals do it. So we're gonna start with our grinder using a sanding pad and we're going to go along this face first on both sides and then we're gonna switch and we're gonna square it up going this way. So let me do that real quick so you can see it. Now next, we could gently radius this or we could just grind it in an angle. I'm gonna go ahead and do the angle cut on it and see how that looks and we'll see if we'll keep that or if we're gonna radius it. So I actually really like how this turned out and there's some tiny little imperfections here and there but this is getting linexed which is pretty thick so anything like that you're not gonna see. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a few minutes and I'm gonna do both of these and get them wrapped. Here, using this wheel I hit it with an orbital sander that way you can kind of see the contrast better of how the like angled finish ends up and you know it's it's not perfect for being honest it's pretty dang good i think with it being line x you're never you're never going to notice the difference with this especially once it has a quarter inch thick coating on it so i'm gonna go ahead and we're going to get a couple spots on the bumper welded near where these go look at that Nice. So we're gonna get those welded real quick and then ground up. We're gonna weld this. Uh, we're gonna leave this. We'll weld this and grind it. Okay, so that gap looks pretty good. I uh, might need to come over a little bit. This way. Looking pretty good. I'm going to put the camera down, finish getting this squared. I'm going to go ahead and weld the other side, get that welded, get this vertical mounted. I'll charge my camera too while I'm at it. So now that we got these framed up here and yeah, it's probably kind of hard to tell. Light's a little bit weird, but I think to me, they look pretty good. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure the distance between these inside faces here because we're gonna get one, two, three bars to come across. Also, don't worry about these tabs. Uh, we'll take care of that once we pull the bumper off. But these three center tubes uh, for the grill guard, 
are too wide. So we're gonna measure between there. We'll mark out center and measure out. So we only have maybe a quarter to a half inch of the tube actually sticking uh, in the inside of these verticals. And inside inside we have basically 35 inches almost on the dot or a little a little under. So let's go ahead and we'll just cut them at three foot. Give us a little extra just to be on the safe side. Now, as you can see, we got those nice and lined up. Next, we're going to do these side hoops. These are usually the most complicated part, especially to get them to look right. Because it takes some tricky coping. Because we got a. I know it's in the corners of these bumpers where this tube goes in. I mean, that is right by the fender. I'm getting this lined up and I'm going to show you what I think I'm going to go off of that looks the best. A lot of doing these bumpers is just line of sight. That's why you're building them to the truck to make sure everything lines up good. I got the grill guard bar here. That gap looks pretty good. Come here and come down. See that reveal? That is the hood and the headlight. And it's nice and lined up. Standing in front of the truck. Crouching down. I mean, it's not gonna hit the exact same angle of the truck. I don't think there's a way to do it, but... It looks pretty good. I'm just gonna protect the, protect the side there. We'll get both these outer hoops tacked in. And then worry about this bar right here. I took and marked the tube here and here. That way I can trim them back a little bit so they fit a little bit nicer on the inside. I'm also going to cut some plates to weld into here just to seal that off for line X. But we are getting pretty close now. These are the next pieces that we need to prep and put in, which are these nice little corner wraps. It kind of will give it a really nice finish. Now, one of the most important things that I do with welding one of these out is I always start with the back. And with the front, it's going to be welded out completely, but to add strength and to make sure that nothing moves and weld it, I like to stitch everything in the back together. So rather than welding all these joints complete where all these seams are, I usually do some two inch welds at the beginning, middle, and end on these joints. What I'll also do is we'll skip around quite a bit. And what that does is it distributes the heat more evenly, so there's less chance of anything moving. Once the back of the bumper is stitched together, we'll weld out the mounts, and starting in the middle, we'll weld out the grill guard as much as we can from the back before rolling it over and continuing to weld the bumper.
Now I basically have the bumper welded and cleaned up, I have one more step I gotta do. Last time I took a bumper to Linex, they actually welded in a piece here and charged extra. So I'm going to go ahead and cut some pieces out on the plasma table and weld them in. I'm probably gonna make a cap for this pipe also on both ends. I found this perfect piece of scrap that's 12 gauge that'll be just enough to cut out my pieces. You may be able to see the bumper's gone because it's off at sandblasting, soon to be Linex. If you want to see the completed bumper, you're going to have to subscribe because I'll post a follow-up video or I'll drop it in the community tab. If this video has been of value to you and you feel more confident going and doing a DIY bumper, whether it's Move or another company, drop a like or, you know, ask questions. Put comments in the comment section. I'm, you know, not a big YouTuber, so... I'm still pretty active down there, so if you have any questions, let me know. And if you like this video, well, you might like this video or this video. Anyways, this is Dustin, Steel Dog Fabrication. We'll catch you in the next one.